Hi my loves, I hope you're all well. As the title suggests, today I wanted to share some of the things that I've been loving recently. I've done videos like this in the past where I've done like hauls and favourites, but with this one I wanted to have less of a focus on things, like things that you need but don't really need, and more of a focus on things of real value or things that I consider to be of real value anyway, and maybe spotlight some talented creators and I don't know, just share some things of real inspiration that I think you guys would love. So to start with, I'm gonna do the biggest category I guess, and that is some YouTubers that I really enjoy watching. Now, I'm not going to mention anyone that I have mentioned before, but I will have a pinned comment um, down at the bottom just of all of my favourite art YouTubers, I guess, who I've mentioned in the past. And then anything else that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description along with timestamps for you to be able to skip along uh, to your heart's content, I guess. But we'll start out with a category on, I guess, art education. There are so many fantastic teachers on this platform with their own areas of expertise and their own varying uh, points of view and approaches and I think it's really important to diversify the amount of lessons and uh, just the different types of information that we take in. So I recently discovered this video literally yesterday in my suggested called How Social Media is Ruining Your Art and it's by a creator called Adam Duff and he, I mean I quickly realised on discovering his channel that he's an incredible teacher, he's a really knowledgeable but also really down to earth guy and he has this wealth of lessons on his channel for aspiring artists and also for human already professional in that field well you're an artist you're you're pro you're providing to your audience something of quality quality takes time quality takes concentration quality requires trial and error so if you are going to keep up with that rat race then you have a choice you can either wait take your time take two if nothing else i think you guys should all watch this social media video because it rings true to a comment that i get so much on this channel uh from people who feel like they're discouraged by the lack of attention that their work is getting on social media. This video really um, spoke to me and I think it's just such an important thing for all of us, especially in this age of making art and posting it on the internet. Another fantastic artist and teacher who dedicates their time to sharing their knowledge on this platform for free is Marco Bucci. He posts maybe once a month, but it's such important fundamental stuff and broken down in a way that's so easy to digest and so easy to go and practice straight away. I just feel like there is so much that you can learn from him. I know I said I wasn't going to mention people that I've mentioned before, but I just had to give a shout out to Robin Seelark. I love her videos. I find her so fun and captivating. She has a real free approach to art, but also a real discipline and a commitment to improving and sharing that with her audience. Now I want to compartmentalize my time better and make sure I'm being well-rounded and finding meaning in a lot of areas of my life and making new goals. If you she are not likes to approach things as a challenge, she's not afraid to pinpoint things that she wants to change or improve in her art and she really encourages that in her viewers and I just always find I leave her videos wanting to go and make something. Jared does some really fantastic gouache and watercolour demos that are so calming and relaxing to watch that you don't even realise that you're learning as you go along. There's a level of understanding behind everything he does which he explains so clearly as he goes along but he's also not afraid of imperfection and trying things even if you're not sure if that's the way to go. Now I know nothing about oil painting but this is what I mean when I say that we need to diversify the sources of information that we have uh, because there is so much of value, there is so much that is relevant to me on Andrew's channel. He is insanely talented but he's also very open with sharing the process behind um, his art and also the journey that he's taken to get to the level of talent that he's got right now. You know, rather than that myth of just naturally being good, you can see the practice and the work that he's put in and the years. And I also just love his videos to see all those beautiful landscapes that he surrounds himself in. Another oil painter, Cynthia hasn't posted in a little while, but she has a really great backlog of videos that hold so much value. She's another one that just seems so real, so down to earth, and also very transparent with her process and the thought behind her work. And that way you can see exactly what your lights and darks are doing without the color. Ultimately, you still want your piece to be readable either way. So let's do that here. Let's take a look at how this painting breaks down when it's converted to grayscale. She just strikes me as someone that has a really kind heart and also really knows what they're talking about. All right, next category is studio vlogs. I know you guys love seeing the behind the scenes of artists and I personally love seeing how that day-to-day -day varies so much from one artist to another. 
right i've been watching joy forever and i am constantly in awe of the amount of work that she puts in around her job her constant innovation and creativity the products that she's making the storytelling her art style just everything she does i'm just in love i find her so relatable and hers are the type of video that i save for when i really need that kick up the butt to get productive and get some work done um, she really spurs me on to want to make things Catherine is another insanely hard worker. I love seeing the behind the scenes of how she creates and sells her products from, you know, coming up with the concepts and cre actually creating them and then getting them up for sale, photographing them, all of that. She's so transparent with that process and I think that's so useful for aspiring artists and illustrators. She really shows the realness and the hard work that goes in um, behind the scenes of being an artist. Plus she has the most infectious personality. She is like the a embodiment of a ray of sunshine. Okay, random fact that's kind of boring, but I love names that end in Ica, like Erica, Monica, Danica. So I loved Sarika's channel even before I'd watched her videos, but I discovered her during Vlogmas and she's another one of those people that really draws you in with a warm and welcoming personality. She's also crazy talented. She's mainly does journaling videos, which I know you guys will love, but I also really enjoyed her Vlogmas videos as well. Again, seeing that behind the scenes of what she does and how she creates products and stuff like that. Another channel that I find really motivating, even though it's in a different kind of art area to what I would normally be into, that being like conventions and OCs and stuff like that, is Tricky Wagon. It's another great and different perspective into the life of a freelancer and the products they make and their process and obstacles. And again, another really relatable and down-to-earth creator. Okay, the last of my favorite YouTube channels are less art specific, but more channels I turn to for that like, creative boost and inspiration. It's really great to uh, consume different media and find inspiration in different places than just pure art. So the first one is kind of art related, but it is the Baumgardner restoration channel, I guess. Um, you probably have seen this in your suggested. Um, I've seen his channel like skyrocket since I subscribed. I think he's gained about 200,000 subscribers in like the last month, uh, but for good reason. This guy, he just really carefully and beautifully restores these old paintings. Um, he does his videos uh, just with sound, with the sounds of his studio and the work he's doing, but he also will then redo the video with a voiceover and you get to hear just the intricacies of that process. I just find it so fascinating and so uh, immersive to watch. I just love this channel. The main reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to mention this channel. Um, it's just, I would really recommend at least watching one of these videos because there's a real art to it. Okay, similar in the creative and peaceful use of sound is this channel that I can't pronounce. It's a vlog channel mainly focused on food, I find. Um, there's also a really cute puppy, uh, but yeah, it's kind of just day-to-day -day life. No talking, just that ambient noise and I don't know, I find it really calming, beautifully shot and great sound design. Nowness is an interesting one. I don't watch all their videos. I think they post every day, uh, so some of them are a bit hit and miss for me, but I do like the way they produce their videos. I like just seeing different things, um, seeing different artists and different areas and different crafts. Um, I really like a series that they have that's called In Residence, where you get to go inside of the most beautiful and unique houses and just hear them being spoken about in a way that's so poetic. The videos are just in general are really short and artsy, and for some reason they always just make me feel like I want to create. And finally, and a little bit of a random one, is Fairyland Cottage, which is a channel that is kind of about living more sustainably, making things yourself, um, respecting and being more a part of nature, and relaxing and slowing down and being more mindful. Neve has the most calming and warm personality, the most gorgeous voice and accent. Uh, the way the videos are shot is lovely. Um, it's like it's like a, a warm bubble bath watching her videos, or I don't know, a hot drink on a really cold day. Okay, so next we'll get on to books. Uh, the first book I wanted to mention is the one that I mentioned, I think, in my Getting My Life Together vlog, where I was talking about setting new goals for the year in small, achievable steps. The book is called One, One, One Small Step Can Change Your Life, The Kaizen Way. It's by Robert Maurer, I think. And it's a really concise, quite succinct book, um, nicely written, a quick and easy read. Um, just easy to digest, easy to take actionable steps afterwards, which I always like in those kinds of self-help books. And I think it's a great one for this time of year where we're all looking to, I don't know, have a fresh start and improve in some way. It's really helped me reevaluate how I approach my goals and I'm feeling a lot more 
capable this year and a lot more hopeful to really take those steps one tiny little increment at a time to becoming the person I want to be. Okay, so J.A.W. Cooper is an artist that I'm sure you will have heard of or at least seen some of her art. She has this beautiful, fluid, quite natural style. It's also, it can be quite almost disturbing, quite gross and distorted at times. It's just this gorgeous combination of the grotesque and the beautiful. Um, and she recently came out with a collection of books uh, compiling some of her recent work. I got this one. This is Viscera. Viscera. Um, there were, I think, a collection of three books. I really wanted to get my hands on all of them, but this was the only one that I could get my hands on at that time. Um, and yeah, it's just full of really beautiful quality images of her work, her sketches, um, some finished paintings, and it's a great insight into her mind as an artist and it just feels like such an honour to be able to see that side and be able to see the, the background behind some pieces of art that I'm sure you will have seen before. It's a book that I find myself constantly reaching for when I need that visual stimulation and just a great snapshot into the mind of an artist, a really talented artist. And in general, it's just a really beautiful quality art book. So the next book is a book that I received in my PO box a couple of days ago, and this is Book Love by Debbie Tung. I've already read it front to back. Uh, it's basically a collection of comics that are about the love of books. I know you guys will love this. Um, just really quirky and funny and relatable little comics about bookworms and book life struggles, I guess. The next one is one that's been in my Amazon wishlist for so long just because it's one that I constantly see being recommended by professional artists as a kind of guide to get you started in the freelance world and it's How To Be An Illustrator by Daryl Reese and it was sent to me by Polo so thank you so much Polo and thank you for everything. Um, I know I say it a lot but really it means so much to have your support. It's been constant and just like unwavering so thank you uh, and thank you for this. I can't wait to give it a proper read. I've had a good skim through it and it's just it seems so full of really useful information. So if you guys are looking for kind of a guide to how to be a professional in this field, then I would really recommend this book. So since we are now on the topic of my PO box, I will do a few little bits and bobs that I've received over the last few months. It's been a little while since I've done a PO box unboxing. And the main reason for that is uh, with the move and everything going on, I've got a lot of stuff here, there and everywhere. I also would really please, if you do send me anything, please give me a way to contact you uh, either through email or through Instagram because I don't get to show everything and I would love to be able to you know send you a message at least to say thanks uh, but to start off with there's this really striking print from Julia Selena it is just gorgeous colours fantastic work and she also sent some of the most detailed pencil work I've ever seen and um, this gorgeous original painting of me which was such a fantastic treat so thank you so much Julia Selena I will have links as always to um, anyone that I mentioned in this video I know you guys will love having a proper look at these people and their work so please do go and spread the love and show them the same support that they've shown to me Next up is this really awesome print from Nastasia of an artichoke. Um, I love this graphic style. I also love the paper that it's printed on. I just, I don't know, there's something about the simplicity of this and the use of line weight that just really speaks to my soul. So thank you so much for this, Nastasia. I got some really cool work from Faye who has written before. So thanks so much for getting back in touch, Faye. Um, her artwork has just come leaps and bounds since she last messaged me. So I'm so impressed and so proud. Um, it just really looks like she's been consistently working on improving her art and it really really shows uh, even the envelope that she sent the letter in is beautifully adorned so thanks so much Faye lovely to hear from you again I also received this inktoberzine from Buzzy and a great letter to go along with it um, it's always lovely to hear from you Buzzy so thank you um, I love the theme of this zine and just the quality of work in it is really something special so thank you also got these stickers from Deandra. These are so cute. Uh, you guys have got to go and check out her. I'll leave her Instagram. I think she has an Etsy shop as well. Uh, you've got to go and see if you can get your hands on some of these stickers because they're awesome. And thank you so much for your letter, Deandra. I love the little doodles on here as well. And finally, something I've been really waiting to share with you guys. I was so lucky to get my hands on Mel Chadwick's little collection of Portlevin um, sketches. So this is like a book of postcards made up of some drawings that she did of the town, I believe, that she was living in at the time. I don't know if she still lives there. Um, Mel I watch on YouTube anyway so it was so amazing to just receive this out of the blue. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel below. She does great vlogs as well and just beautiful artwork. I love the style, I love her use of water and, and line as well so I'm so grateful to have these. I kind of want to send them out to people as postcards but I kind of also just want to keep them for myself. 
Another cool thing in here is this 10 ways to cultivate a sketchbook habit little pocket guide um, where she's got all these little tips illustrated as well. I just think she's incredibly talented. She also does interviews with creators. Um, just her channel and her artwork in general are such fantastic resources and I definitely would recommend that you check her out. But other than that, I think that is it for this video. Um, if you have any suggestions, any people that you want to shout out down below, I would really love that. I think it would be great to use this comment section as a place to really share and promote the people that we think deserve it and as always make sure you check out the description for any links to anything you might be interested in make sure you go out and spread the love and i will see you soon for the next video bye